Okay, now we continue with example for implicit differentiation. Find dy dx if tan ln y equals to 2e3x plus inverse sine 2 set x. Actually, this is example 2 in page 20 in chapter 2 in your handout. Now we discuss the complete solution. Okay, we are given tan ln y equals to 2e3x plus inverse sine 2 set x. Okay, first step, we can define one by one. We define tan ln y as a equals to define 2e3x as b plus define inverse sine 2 set x as c. Then we differentiate one by one. We differentiate A, so the symbol is A prime, equals to differentiate B, the symbol is B prime, plus differentiate C, so the symbol is C prime. Then we name as equation 1. Then we can show one by one the derivative of A, B and C. Okay, our A is tanh ln y. Okay, this is not a multiplication function but a composite function. So, we never use product rule. All we have to do is we draw a circle and attach it to another circle. Okay. And then, the second circle we attach to another circle. And then, the third circle we attach, we attach to the third circle. And in between of the circles must multiplication operation. Okay. Now, we want to differentiate tanh ln y. We can refer from derivative of tanh x. When we differentiate tanh x, the answer is set squared x. So, when we differentiate tanh ln y, the answer should be set squared ln y. Okay. And then, to differentiate ln y, we can refer from formula derivative of ln x, which is equals to 1 over x. So, when we differentiate ln y, the answer should be 1 over y. Then, we need to differentiate y. So, when we differentiate y, the answer is dy over dx. Okay. Then we simplify the answer. So we have set squared ln y over y dy over dx. Now we differentiate b. Our b is 2e3x. So when we differentiate, we still have constant in front. Then we differentiate e3x. Okay, we make the first circle and attach to another circle. Okay, and then the second circle we attach to another circle. And in between mass multiplication operation. Okay, to differentiate E3x, we can refer derivative of Ex, which is equal to Ex. So that, so when we differentiate uh, E3x, the answer should be E3x also. But we need to differentiate the power. When we differentiate 3x, the answer is 3. Then we can simplify. Okay. After we simplify, we have 6e3x. Okay. Now, we discuss derivative of c. Okay. Our c is inverse sine 2 set x. Okay, this is also composite function. So, when we differentiate c, the symbol is c prime. So, all we have to do is we draw a circle and attach to another circle. Then, we can write the basic formula of inverse sine. Basic formula means the symbol is single x. Okay. And then, we draw the second circle and attach to another circle. Then we can write the formula. 
and in between of the two circles must multiplication operations. Yeah. And then to differentiate inverse sine 2 set x, we refer basic formula derivative of inverse sine single x. And the answer is 1 over set 1 minus x squared. So it means that when we differentiate inverse sine 2 set x, the answer should be 1 over 1 over set 1 minus 2 set x squared. Okay, we replace x by 2 set x. Okay, and then we differentiate 2 set x. Okay, how to differentiate 2 set x? First step, we need to write set x by x the power of positive half. Okay, and then we still have 2 in front here, the constant. Okay, and then we differentiate x the power of half using power rule. So, what need we do is we bring half to front and then x, then we deduct 1 from the original power. So, we have half minus 1 which is equals to negative half. Then we can simplify 2 from the constant and 2 from half. Okay, so we have x the power of negative half. And then from the properties of indices, we can write 1 over set x. Yeah, we can write x to the power of negative half to 1 over set x. Okay, so we can substitute here. Okay, this one for inverse sign, we refer from derivative of inverse sign x. Okay. Okay, then we simplify. When we simplify, we have 1 over set x. Set x come from here. Okay, we put in front. Okay, uh, 1 minus 2 set x squared. 2 squared is 4. Set x squared is x. No more powers. Okay, or no more squared. And then from properties of set, this is set multiplied by set, so we can expand it. Okay, so we, we have x for uh, the denominator inside set symbol, we have x minus 4 x squared. Okay, x here and x here. We combine the set symbol. Okay. Okay, after that, we substitute A prime, B prime and C prime into equation 1. We recall back the equation 1. Okay, we have A prime equals to B prime plus C prime. Okay, and then we substitute A prime equals to set squared ln y over y dy over dx equals to, we substitute B prime equals to 6e 3x plus and then we substitute C prime equals to 1 over set x minus 4x squared. Okay. And then we multiplying each terms by y to eliminate denominator y here. Okay. Okay. The white color is from original one. And the red color y is when we multiply each term by y. Okay. Okay, after we multiply by y, we can eliminate y here and y from denominator. And after simplify, we have no more denominator y. So we have set squared ln y dy over dx. And y from here, we can put Beside 6, after 6, so we have 6y e 3x. And then y here, we can put uh, under dino, under numerator, okay? Or as uh, numerator, so we have y over set x minus 4x squared, okay? And then we write dy over ds as a subject, so we need to bring a set squared ln y to denominator. So now we have 6y 
E3x plus Y over set X minus 4X squared here over, okay, this, because this is multiplication operation, so when we move to right hand side, so we have quotient operation, okay. Okay, so we have over set squared ln y. Okay, or from this answer, we can also use this method. Okay, we standardize denominator for right hand side. Okay, from right hand side uh, equation, we can standardize the denominator. Okay, the left hand side still same. Okay, set squared ln y dy over dx. And then for the right hand side, we standardize the denominator. So we have, we need to multiply 6y e3x by a third x minus 4x squared. And then plus y. We don't need to multiply y by this third because y has denominator third x minus 4x squared. Okay. Then we can write dy over dx equals to 6yE3x set x minus 4x squared plus y. And then this is multiplication operation so we can move down. So we have uh, set squared ln y times set x minus 4x squared. So you can leave your answer as uh, dy over dx equals to this one. Or this one. Okay. Got it? Coming up next. Example 5. Implicit differentiation. Find dy over dx. If since cube to x plus x. Times inverse tangent y equals to e to y. So stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.